What's going on guys? Daniel Valdez, Physique and Performance Sciences and ATP Nutrition CEO and founder. We're gonna get right into it. Top five supplements. I'm gonna make this short. I've recorded this a couple of times and I have a tendency to go on on rants and I'm gonna try and make this really quick. So if you have any more questions or you wanna get a little bit more in depth, leave questions in the comments section. Let me know, hit me up. I'm more than happy to discuss any of this stuff. I love supplements. This is what I do, so I've dedicated my life to it. But that being said, let's get right into it. I'm sorry. Like I said, tangent, ran, random rants. Okay, top five supplements. Creatine, beta alanine, caffeine, protein, and fish oils. Now, that being said, the first two come with a little bit of a, with a little bit of sidebar. Creatine and beta alanine are ingredients that work on chronic use, okay? So if you find creatine and beta alanine in a pre-workout, I would recommend also picking up bulk creatine and beta alanine or just get a product that has creatine and beta alanine that aren't used in a pre-workout setting. Specifically for the fact that for creatine and beta alanine, you wanna take those every day because like I said, they work on saturation. They're a chronic use supplement. So you have to use them over a period of time for them to build up saturation before they can elicit their total effects. Specifically, here's an example. Beta alanine takes 179 grams before you're fully saturated and will get the total effects of what beta alanine is put in that product for, what's going to elicit the results, okay? So with 179 grams being needed, you're looking at roughly 56 days of every single day use. And if you're like me and many others, you don't use a pre-workout every single day, you use it on days that you work out. It's a pre-workout, right? Take it before a workout. With only using it three, four, five times, maybe six times a day, it's gonna increase that, that 56 day range that I already told you about. Creatine works by increasing ATP, okay? That's cellular energy. By increasing ATP, you're able to put out more reps, you're able to do more in the gym, and it is the number one most studied and proven effective and safe ingredient that we have available to us. What form should you get it in? Good question. Creatine monohydrate, period, plain and simple. No creatine ethyl ester, no buffered creatines. Many other creatine forms have stepped up and through advertising and marketing companies are like, this is the creatine, this is the best one, this is what you need, this is the way to do it. No, creatine monohydrate, as of now, has not been dethroned. It is still champion, it's still number one, and it's dirt cheap. So you can pick it up in like 1.2 kilos for $15 from a few different bulk supplement companies, okay? Just get some creatine monohydrate. You don't have to pay for the fancy stuff. Beta alanine, okay? That one is going to work diff via different mechanisms of actions. Uh, one of them is it buffers lactic acid. Another one is that it increases muscle carnosine levels. Like I said, both chronic use ingredients, I recommend taking them outside of a pre-workout setting, which is why we actually did not put it in our pre-workout because it would be better used in a different supplement. Going on to caffeine, I'm gonna make this quick. There's a couple of misunderstandings. This is why the last video I made turned into a 22 minute video and I'm trying to get all this stuff into like a six or seven minute video so I don't lose you guys, okay? Because this is all really, really important stuff. And it's cool, it's interesting. Supplement science is awesome, how we can manipulate the body, the different things we can do, super cool. Anyways, back on topic. All right, caffeine, should I take it before pre-workout? People say no, why? Because they say it vasoconstricts, um, it vasoconstricts your vessels, so you're not gonna get enough blood flow, right? That's not true. I'm gonna make a separate video on this, but I'm gonna make this super quick, okay? Context is very important when it comes to caffeine and vasoconstriction because the vasoconstriction does occur, but it occurs in an entirely, uh, it happens in certain body systems that have nothing to do with working out, okay? So it vasoconstricts the parasympathetic system, which is involved in digestion, uh, relaxation, that sort of stuff, okay? It doesn't, it's not gonna cause vasoconstriction in your sympathetic system, which is where you're gonna get blood flow to your, to your muscles, oxygen, nutrient delivery, all that kind of stuff, okay? Caffeine, pre-workout. Yes, caffeine is again, one of the number one studied ergogens, which is something that's gonna increase sports performance that we have available to us. This doesn't mean non-stimulant pre-workouts are inherently bad. I love non-stimulant pre-workouts, but it's not a negative thing to have caffeine in a pre-workout. So I just wanted to clear that up. Definitely, caffeine's awesome. Um, there's data showing that you could take 600 milligrams per day of caffeine without any, any deleterious effects, which is like any negative effects, right? Okay, protein. Moving right along. Protein, awesome supplement. One of the number one supplements that you should have, like I said, but my number one concern for anything when it comes to supplements is whole foods. 
if your total protein intake is let's say 300 and you were slamming down six protein shakes to hit that 300, you're not doing this right, okay? We wanna try and get, it, uh, here's the bottom line. These are called supplements. That means it's a supplement too. So it's not supposed to be a mainstay to your diet. It's, a, it's an in addition to kind of thing. So yes, protein's awesome. Get um, a whey protein and or, or a blend. I prefer a blend, casein and whey. But the cool thing is if you can't find a cheaper blend, because I know they're a little bit more expensive, you could get yourself a whey isolate or whey concentrate, whatever and just mix it with milk because milk is mostly casein. So little tips, little tricks here and there to try and get the best of both worlds and, and get the, the response that you wanted, okay? Now, I would say your number five most important ingredient, and this isn't pre-workout setting because if this was pre-workout, then uh, I would probably switch up some ingredients, but fish oils. Fish oils are just going to be an overall general good supplement to take for your overall health fish oils super important to take now there's a caveat with these just like with the other ones because there's a lot of stuff that goes into supplementation um, fish oils have the tendency just like any other oil like even um, extra virgin olive oil uh, coconut oil all oils are prone to this okay so if you don't store them correctly or they're not manufactured properly or they're not kept out of sunlight or they're in heat they can oxidize which you are taking these fish oils to help you and if they oxidize, then it's actually gonna be more of a negative consequence and you would be better off not taking them. So my recommendation is seek out a great fish oil product, um, keep it stored in the refrigerator, away from light, and if you live in Arizona, keep it out of the car because once those melt and, and the oil is in the heat, it's going to oxidize. One quick way to actually check to see if your, your fish oils are oxidized is if you cut open your, uh, your fish oil capsules, the gel caps, and smell it. If they have a really, really bad fishy smell to them, they smell rancid, then there is a very, very good chance that your fish oils are oxidized. I hope this was short enough. I tried to get a lot of information in. I know I talked quick. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm part Italian, so it just kind of comes out, and then the hand movement, stuff like that. So uh, if you guys have any questions, have any sort of um, you know topics you would like to see covered in the future. I plan to get a lot more of these videos made. It's hard to do with everything I have going on, but I plan on getting these out at least once a week. So hit me up with questions, comments, concerns. You can follow me on Instagram at The Chemist 2.0. Uh, also, the supplement company is ATP Nutrition. Uh, I would really appreciate the support. Like this, share it, spread the knowledge, and please, 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 I truly, truly care about exercise science and supplements. Help inform others and always check your sources so that you're not furthering the spread of things like caffeine being a vasoconstrictor and not being and not that they shouldn't be used in a pre-workout setting awesome guys thank you for watching i hope you have an awesome day and yeah thanks for watching bye